so uh, this case is about uh, bridge again, a steel bridge, and uh, it's uh, about the condi condition assessment uh, problem, let's say, and uh, I have co-authors who helped a lot and did uh, a lot of work in on this, so I'd really like to uh, acknowledge their help here. Uh, Yes, so just very briefly, because this has been presented already in Dublin. Uh, we're talking about a bridge in Stockholm, uh, in a very central location. Uh, so it's a huge uh, traffic demand on this bridge, more than 500 uh, trains uh, per day. Uh, if you have to close down this bridge, that will have uh, quite uh, significant consequences uh, for the entire city. And of course, costs a lot of money. The steel bridge and it was built in the 50s, so fatigue is a uh, real problem. And uh, there are numerous uh, fatigue uh, uh, critical details. And there has been fatigue cracks. And there is, uh, in this case, we are focusing on a more interesting. Uh, uh, detail where one would expect uh, uh, fatigue uh, cracks according to some theoretical uh, considerations but uh, uh, they couldn't find any signs of uh, fatigue so then what what, what happens then uh, that's the question Sh should you do something or is it still safe or uh, do we need uh, to do some more uh, advanced assessment do more inspection with some uh, uh, devices or monitoring system. Simply, uh, yeah, simply uh, just try to have a better, more sophisticated model that could tell us that it's still okay. Uh, and then, uh, but th th that, that is that is a typical problem with the condition condition assessment of any structures. And uh, there are these well-known flowcharts. How to do this? How to uh, to do uh, initial assessment and then uh, uh, have uh, to decide if you you need uh, to do some further inspection and then go in this look that was uh, also shown in a previous uh, presentation and then uh, show this in Dublin we have this uh, we thought it's a brilliant idea but no, it's not that uh, try to structure these possibilities uh, like. Uh, Basically, these three uh, main possibilities: uh, focusing on uh, having a better model, or uh, include more information by collecting information, uh, or somehow uh, um, improve the the consideration of uncertainties. And here, I had some examples this time for this case. Uh, like, what were what were the options uh, for this bridge? How had to, to look at the fatigue uh, problem or, uh, and uh, moving from the deterministic analysis to relative based assessment on uh, direct uh, consideration of consequences or just using data that is was already available from the design or, or actually do something on the bridge. Uh, and then even showed some results from previous assessment and uh, the, the idea is really in all these cases that if you can somehow remove the uh, conservativeness of your estimation then you expect to save money because then you don't have to do this costly intervention so you don't have to repair or close down the bridge but, uh, but you don't know with certainty there is a chance that uh, you will uh, improve your uh, uh, assessment or the prediction but, but it might not worse to do it so it's just some, some numerical examples of uh, going, and then usually you combine this uh, movement along the, the axis. And that that, that uh, makes sense. So, so try to find the best ways to, to remove this conservativeness. Uh, how this can be used uh, here, and uh, how, how you can use the VOE uh, analysis. So last time we did this, uh, uh, flowchart 
it's very easy to see. Uh, but we, we identified what are the, the typical uh, uh, actions that one could do and also the indicators. In this case, it was quite clear. Maybe uh, I shouldn't uh, show this uh, again. I will just do show you what uh, we have been doing since uh, the last uh, meeting. And uh, the, ma the main, main difficulty is actually someone who is not familiar with these methods. Is you look at this, that has been discussed in the training school as well, and yeah, how, how, do, how do I really use this? Uh, uh, for a real case. So I'm trying to show this uh, to you. And uh, yesterday we heard about uh, different uh, uh, software tools. There's a very uh, very efficient software tool called Excel. Pen and paper. And I think you can uh, understand a lot. Uh, so we tried to simplify the problem. Uh, uh, and then the state of nature here, in this case, it was uh, there is uh, damage or no damage in this detail, and we had uh, some prior probabilities based on the previous uh, uh, assessment. Let's say from visual inspection. Uh, and then we consider two type of actions, interventions here: uh, repair or no repair. We don't include all uh, possible consequences, just to, to make it simple. And the total costs, maybe you shouldn't call it total cost, but that's the cost of the intervention and the cost of uh, a possible failure. Uh, and then th there is a combination of those. If you uh, have no damage and you don't repair, then you don't pay anything, right? If you don't repair and it uh, fails, then you have to pay more. Then, if you repair, then then that has a certain cost. And then, uh, what we are after now is to decide on what kind of assessment we should uh, do. So we just assumed it's a very generic uh, formulation. Yeah. If we have three options, do no further assessment. That has no cost. Uh, and uh, we consider two different uh, uh, assessment options. One is uh, cheaper, but let's say less uh, reliable. You can see it here in this condition of probabilities. And the other one is more expensive, uh, but uh, gives you better indication of, uh, uh, of uh, damage. So we, we call these uh, outcomes improvement or no improvement. Uh, but it's not so clear that uh, you have a doubt and uh, after the assessment, you still have a doubt, or you improve your uh, your assessment about the, the the fatigue life, for example. I hope it's clear. If it's not, then you can take a closer look after the meeting. So then uh, we we just did this similar examples that uh, were presented in the training school for those who were here, and then you can you can calculate the so you can do this. Uh, Without assessment, you could calculate the expected benefit, in this case, just costs. Uh, and then you can do this with uh, uh, this uh, less good or cheaper, I would say cheaper uh, assessment and with a, with a more expensive assessment. And then it's very simply, you can select uh, which one to choose if you have one shot. Uh, so it doesn't really include this successive uh, steps in this case. Uh, but I will come to that later. And then uh, we thought that probably we shouldn't do this um, by hand all the time. So then we looked into this uh, influence. Uh, we created an influence diagram of this simple problem and then did this with Gini. And you see the numbers are, uh, <laughs> numbers are the same. So uh, we hope that everything was correct here. Uh, and then, then there is just much, much easier. And uh, you could then calculate, if, if you don't assign costs to these, uh, to these possibilities here, then you could just calculate the, the value of information, how much you, you should pay for, for this method or for this method, right? Uh, yes, and then uh, what we are working on right now is to, to include these uh, successive steps 
so it's very difficult to see. But so so like first you have two. You only consider two options. Uh, either you go with no assessment or you go to level one. Uh, and then if you are if you do this level one, then you have another uh, decision uh, problem. You either satisfied with the results and make a decision based on that. So the, the, these, these are the intervention nodes here. And these are decisions on further assessment. Or you can go move to the next level. But you, this just gets more complicated. I tried to put this in Genie, but uh, I don't have, didn't show you any numbers yet, <laughs> because I'm a bit uncertain if it's correct. But maybe this is something that we could get some help from someone who is, uh, who is more familiar with this. But uh, th this was our first idea how to how to do this in Genie. And then you could you could decide on a, a set, uh, or you then you could compare different strategies of how to how to move to the next level. And that was it. And we have we have some publications where we already published something about this. Yeah. Any questions?